What's up guys, we're back here in the Cutting Edge Garage and today we're taking a look at our new VL65 LX Premium Plus Balancer. Um, this one's added some new features from the last video uh, you guys saw. Uh, the big main ones is we got a nice uh, automatic diameter and the width measuring rod here. So now we don't have to touch any buttons on the machine when we're entering our rim parameters. Uh, so I'm gonna throw a tire up on this thing and I'll show you how it works. All right, so today we got some wheels off a, I believe it's a 2009 BMW 328i. 18s, so let's get our wheel up here on the spindle. You see these got center caps on them, but I just use the spindle, let it pop it out just like that. And for these, I'm gonna put the, the wheel seating cone on the outside. Uh, you can really do it either way, but I prefer this way, for these wheels at least. Let's get her snug down. All right, it's always a good idea to take a look at your tire and your rim. Make sure uh, there's no wobble in the tire. Um, you'd be surprised how often you would get bad tires straight from the factory. Um, uh, I've had to send a lot of tires back just because they're never going to ride right if they've got like a shift, a shift in them or a little hump. And the rim looks good and straight too. So uh, let's move on over to the machine. I'll show you how to enter all the data in. All right, so this is a uh, aluminum type two wheel and that means that uh, we're going to put a uh, stick on weight on the inner plane right here on the edge of the rim. And then actually we're going to put another on the outer plane, uh, another stick on weight right behind the spokes here. Now for this room, we don't have to use our width measuring rods, but I want to show you guys how it works anyway. So say this was like an aluminum, like four or five type wheel. So we'll do a stick on weight here. And if you guys watch the screen, you'll see it'll pop up. And then you just take your width rod, touch it to the outside of the rim. Automatically picks up our width and selected aluminum type five. So it's as easy as that. I don't have to touch anything. Now I would just close the hood. But since this is aluminum type two, for stick on weights, I'm going to touch my inner, or uh, yeah, my inner plane here, right where that stick on weight's going to go. And I take this rod back to the home position, and then I grab it again, and I just need to touch the outer plane where that stick of weight's going to go. All right, you see it's selected aluminum type two automatically. I didn't have to touch anything. Now I'm just going to take my little flat blade scraper, and we got to get these old weights off here. All right. Make sure you don't got any more. All right, that looks good to me. All right, now we shut the hood. Let it spin on up. It looks like our rims just got a little bit of a hop in it that could result in a vibration. Uh, just have to let the customer know about that. Um, the only way you're going to fix that is either take it somewhere and get the rim straightened or buy new rims. All right. Slow that on down. Alright, so we're asking for a half ounce on the inner plane and three quarters of an ounce on the outer plane. So let's do our outer plane first. See, it gives me a nice red hand there. And then when I get to the spot, I need this light's going to start flashing on the inside. And you see, I got a red laser shooting across to show me exactly where to put my weight. So now, next up, of course, you should always uh, clean the rim before you put your stick on weight so they don't come flying off. So let's take a little bit of brake clean. Clean that up good. We're going to stick our weight. What have we got? Three quarters of an ounce. I'm just going to stick that dead center where my laser is. Right about there. That looks pretty good. So now we just rotate around for our inner plane. It tells me to stop there. Again, make sure it's nice and clean so your wheels, uh, your wheel weight sticks. Got a little gunk on right here. All right, that looks good. All right, now it wants a half ounce. This is uh, worth noting on this machine, it does support uh, wheel optimization. So if you needed to rotate the, uh, the tire on the rim to optimize a little bit better, um, it also supports the uh, split weight function. So say you have a customer that has some really nice wheels and they say, I don't want to see any of these stick-on weights on the inside of my wheels. I keep them really clean. Um, you can actually split the weights so that they're behind the spokes and it looks really nice. So, let's grab a half ounce. Come on now. Stick that right where our laser is. Boom. Easy peasy. Alright, slam our hood down. Alright, 
Oh, there you go, we're zeroed out. And that's all there is to it, guys. Machine's very easy to use, very intuitive. I um, really like that you don't have to enter any data by hand so using all these keypads. Um, the only time really you have to touch the keypad is if you want to change the setting. Um, of course, in here we have, uh, you can do normal and fine. Uh, the threshold for uh, the normal balancing is adjustable. So if you want to adjust that down a little bit lower, I think stock is uh, 0.1 of an ounce, but uh, you can switch it to fine if you'd like. And of course it supports all the basic stuff like dynamic and static balancing. And here we can just turn our our light on and off that shines on the inside of the rim and then it does have the option uh, i like to use the laser um, to just stick my weights on but you can actually use the uh this uh this distance measuring rod you can clip your sticky weights in it and then actually use that to apply the uh the weight but i just like using the laser uh, a little less good um, that about covers it guys uh, if you guys have any questions about this machine feel free to give us a call uh, uh visit our website over at cdasusa.com um, I'm Jacob, thanks for watching.